The Ruffle Life Skills and Reading Foundation was birthed out of a desire to make sure that children have a passion for reading. It was started by Tuan and his mother, Corliss Russell, who is now not with us. And the foundation functions through seven different parks, public parks. They are seven centers where from four to six, we drive home that reading is the foundation of everything. I remember falling in love with writing. I remember, you know, writing poems and, and even, you know, all the things that I did in college. I remember when that became important to me. And it was only because someone saw something in me that I didn't know I had. And once I started reading and once I started, you know, seeing what my, my abilities were, my life changed. We're um, helping kids who a lot of people, you know, kind of cast away. We want to make sure that these children, these children that their mothers, for whatever reason, mothers and fathers, for whatever reason, cannot provide uh, the time that it takes to sit down and do homework, to sit down and read an hour a, a day to their children. We want to be able to be the bridge between the educational system and the parent so that these children do not fall between the cracks. You're looking at your future president, your future vice presidents, you're looking at the future of America and we want to make sure that they have all the tools necessary to be able to be the best possible students that they can be. And the way you train your mind is by reading. We need people that are going to stay there and, you know, really dig down what's going on with that child. I mean, I need someone who, who's being paid to figure out, okay, what's the reading problem with this child? I need someone who is being paid to pick up the phone and talk to the mom and say, you know what, your child is really deficient. This is what I need you to do at home. This is what we're going to do at the center. Um, someone that's going to communicate with the teacher. And, you know, that's why it's so important for uh, people to be involved with, what, with who we are. I think in the after school tutoring program, we have the ability to be more one-on-one -on -one with them because of the small group size. That's it. Okay. You know, they need more time. They need to know that someone cares about them, that we're concerned that uh, about them being successful, that we're just not teaching them the test and teaching to the test. We care about them knowing the strategies, the skills, and what it takes for them to be successful. What we want to do, we want to teach our children how to read and write. We want to focus on their reading ability. Um, because if a child can read, they can learn anything. If we're going to really invest in this country, if we're going to really invest in these students, we need to do it on a very simple level. And it's not about computers and it's not about all these over the top things. It's about people. People learn from people. You put a teacher in front of a child. You let the child realize that that teacher loves him. And you walk them systematically, stage by stage, according to their ability, um, through a, a strategic curriculum, they will learn. The curriculum is broken up into 30 minute segments. We do language arts for 30 minutes, reading for 30 minutes. Uh, we do homework every day from 5.30 to 6. We've been with them long enough to know who needs what help and they feel comfortable in telling us, I need help with this or I don't understand this or Ms. Watson, that work we did the other day, I didn't get it. We focus on what's important to us. Teachers are important to us. So most of our funds go towards making sure we have qualified certified teachers um, teaching our students. I mean, we have speech pathologists, we have um, ESE uh, teachers, we have um, teachers who deal with the type of students we have, and they're not here necessarily for the dollars. They're here because they believe in what we do. You know, a lot of people say, well, everybody's asking me for money. What makes this different? It's really the brick and mortar. It's saying whether you donate $50 and you can put a child, you know, help sponsor a child for a week, you can donate $1,000 and sponsor a child for either six months or a year. At the end of the six months, the child will be able to, you know, possibly with help read part of a book. And at the end of six months, the goal is he can read you the entire book and understand it. And that to me is, is, is quantifiable. 
accepting limits Cause someone says they're so Some things I cannot change But till I try, I'll never know I know how to Okay, give me high five. Very good, I'm proud of you. I'm in an honors class.